Hey guys, so a good customer of ours, uh, Jacob Schwerk, I believe that's how you pronounce the last name, um, shipped us his engine, all this stuff was bought from us. Um, <clears throat> did a nice job polishing the cover up here. This is a 72 Polini Corsa, I believe he's got a Melosi crank. Uh, gears, this is a pretty extensive build. Um, so, he's got some transmission issues, he can't quite dial hours, having a hard time. So, um, what we're gonna do, is since I blew this motor up a couple weeks ago. Anyways, this motor is going to come out of um, our personal DO here. And then, so we're going to take this first. We're going to pull the cylinder off. We're going to port the Corsa from top to bottom. Um, then we're going to pressure test it. Put the car back on, make sure it's all sealed up tight and good. Um, go through any trans issues that we see, anything clear um, and obvious, and get it dialed to. It should be pretty quick. Um, once we get the motor all sorted and dialed, we get its carb on, make sure it's sealed up tight. Make sure the uh, oil plug here seal seal well. Make sure his cases are sealed well. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they are because he's probably used Honda Bond. So um, once that's all done, the carb goes back on. We'll jet it close, and after the port work's done, we'll do new gaskets, um, new head gasket, new base gasket as well. Probably pop in a couple of new studs with some Honda Bond in here. Lock those guys in good. Make sure the <clears throat> intake is sealed well. Yank this guy out. Um, put this engine in this bike, and then we're gonna get it dialed, get it dyno tuned, uh, make sure the jetting's really close, get his transmission dialed. I can see right here, and we run into this now and then, certain bells um, don't work well with the uh, uh, ZX pulley. So what's going on here with this, and this is just a good example for people to keep an eye on things um, when you're doing, if you have transmission issues. So his belt won't go high up enough in the front, won't sink down far enough in the back, so he's not getting the top speed that he should be. And what's going on is there's not enough travel here. Okay, so this pulley is hitting this bell. So we need one, one two things. Um, <clears throat> likely with this setup, we'll either turn this bell down and machine it to give him a little bit more clearance so that pulley can travel out further. Try to do this with one hand here. So basically we can turn this bell down to get a little bit more clearance. Um, we can shim the bell out. I don't really like shimming the bell out, but we can do that too, or just get a different bell entirely. But basically when this pulley when you accelerate, this goes to the left and the, and the belt dips down inside that. So what's going on is they're contacting each other, not allowing the uh, maximum travel on your barrier. So that's a really, really simple fix for us. So we're gonna get that dialed, we'll get his clutch dialed um, and pop it in this bike. So stay tuned, we'll uh, probably start working on getting this thing tore apart today. I'll pull this motor out today. I'll do a little video too on this. I'm pretty sure um, <clears throat> destroyed the crank in this bike, the crank or bearings, I don't know. But it sounds pretty bad. I blew it up uh, um, like a week ago or so. But perfect example, actually you can see this gap here, how big this gap is on that setup and on his. I'm gonna get super gymnastics with it here. Distance on his versus mine. Big difference. So that one has full travel, this one does not. So thanks, Jacob. Um, we'll get you dialed, and, and we're happy to take motor builds um, and get them dialed for people that aren't necessarily here in Portland.